So here's the last Pracharya on the beach side that I know of that hasn't been documented. Um, and you can see there's fruit hanging out a little further away than the, um, the ones by the river side. Uh, I'll get in close. I brought my ladder, so I'll get in close and we'll take a look at it. There's a bunch of seed on the ground and it looks like there's one um, rachis with a bunch of uh, fruit that might be mature on it. I'm going to try to get up to it and see. Um, but yeah, definitely longer peduncles arching out. Um, I notice it's kind of looking like there's indumentum or indumentum on the uh, petiole bases. What do they call it? Flocos or flocos or whatever. Um, especially that that frond right there, you can see it looks like indumentum there. Um, and up where the uh, petiole attaches to the leaf as well. And um, I was looking at it, uh, genera palmarum, and they were describing indumentum with a uh, Hillebrandii. And there is one, let me look at my viewfinder here, one rachis that, um, there it is, I'm sorry, may have a couple of mature seeds on it. There's a lot of seed on the ground, and there's another one there. I'll, I'll get some of these seeds if I can. And um, we'll take a look at them. But there's a whole bunch on the ground. They're all immature, though. Um, so I don't know if they're worth measuring. But if I get a, a, a mature seed, that's interesting. Right here, let me back out, sorry. Sloppy video making here. Uh, what happened there, I wonder? Almost like somebody... Uh, chewed away at it there. So anyway, I'll get one, another look up into the uh, habit here and I'll get a close-up again of that where the uh, petiole ties into the um, leaf and then I'll come back down. Uh, there's the peduncle to the unripe fruit that we were looking at when I was on the ground. And I'll back away and we can, I'll zoom in on the leaf itself. Try not to fall off the ladder here. Okay. That's uh, not really gonna... I guess we'll look at this one. Look at that top one. So anyway, oh, there's another set of fruit, and those actually all look pretty mature right there. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in there. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at the coloration there. Hmm. I don't have enough ladder to get that, but I can come back, uh, and I'll look on the ground to see what's on the ground. That's nice looking right there. Okay, so there's the money shot for the Pachardia. Let me zoom back in, or out, or whatever it is, and one last look. And it's about 20 feet, a little more, maybe 25 feet overall. This property used to have a huge oranga pinata right here uh, that flowered and died. And um, there was a little iphanes here. And over where that triangle is, there was a, a heterospathe alata that was huge. And it, um, something happened to it. In, uh, maybe it was the hurricanes in 2004, I think, knocked it over. But it was a, it's a shame because the thing was monstrous. I should go over and look and see if there are any, because it was throwing seed, see if there's any volunteers over there. Anyway, so there's your Pachardia. Okay, I know you'll appreciate this for sure. Um, look what I found underneath the triangle palm. It's a dipsis seedling, but that doesn't, unless it's really shade or light starved, it does not speak of a um, typical triangle seedling. So. There's a chance, I'm looking here, get down at the base, uh, that this could be maybe a, um, a Lutessens cross. Um, you know, it might just be a triangle, but it's kind of different looking. So, and it could again be because it's being uh, starved out by the um, by these lady palms here. But I'm going to come over next weekend and I'll dig this up and we'll watch it. And if it turns out just to be a triangle, then no big deal, just time lost. But these leaves don't look like classic triangle to me. 
and I'm constantly taking triangle um, seedlings out of the ground or seed out of the ground and raising them and seeing if they do come out as hybrids when there's arecas and, and um, uh, triangles around. So let me see if I can clear this lady palm out of the way for a second here. Anyway, let's see what this does. I'm definitely going to take it out of here because it just doesn't look like a typical, and there are no other really seedlings around, and the triangle is right here. Uh, with uh, some immature flowers in it and more further along there so we'll see what happens so I went ahead and just cut this uh, chunk of fruit out the brachis and peduncle there and uh, there were only a couple of green seeds left on it so I'll get all these started in a community pot and um, uh, the, the first seed here on the right is uh, showing about 8 to 9 millimeters and it's missing a little bit of mesocarp but I have that that facing up. Uh, the next one is a little more uh, succulent or less dried out and that's reading about a centimeter or 10 millimeters and then this one is uh, a little more on the far left here has a little more moisture in it and it's probably about 11 millimeters and then just as a standard and I I bumped it let me move my my lead pellet six uh, six point three five millimeters and it's showing uh, about that it's almost seven millimeters but I just did that as a, as a standard uh, so and then when I was digging around uh, I found five what look like Pachardia seedlings underneath the tree there are no other plants nearby or palms rather nearby there's just a sable um, that could be doing anything else so I'm assuming that and we'll see uh, as they grow uh, there's a fifth one that's in water it was pulled out bare root because it was right up against some concrete so anyway that's the final word on this one so yeah so nine millimeters to maybe eleven millimeters uh, if it's missing if we take the mesocarp off maybe eight to nine millimeters uh, with the fruit still on it, uh, maybe 10 to 11 meter, millimeters, or yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood.